Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day what? 52. It's definitely Horde Night tonight. Um, well, sorry, I don't know that for sure. It's probably going to be a Horde Night tonight. Uh, but we got to get the Horde base fixed regardless. That's That's got to happen today. Um, yesterday was the uh, Horde. Or the day after the Horde, sorry. So today there's a possibility for one to happen. I'm just getting my military gear upgraded here. Um, so we've been picking up stuff lately. Um, and I wanted to just make sure we change everything out so we have the highest level gear possible. Uh, for the highest number of mod slots possible. Because I want to start packing in... Um, modify you. These guys here. The... Uh, Weather resistant stuff. Go ahead and put you on. Nice. Because that will actually give us um, some blast protection from things like fireballs and stuff like that. Now I know I got one in here. Uh, eventually we'll make some more, but right now I don't have a whole lot, do I? Thought I had. I thought I had a few more than that. Um, where's my armor? So a bunch of stuff happened last night. A whole bunch of stuff. Uh, okay, you're fine. Modify you. Put that in. So I got another coil carbine done. Uh, I'm making a bunch of gas in here. In here, we made a level 71 automatic rifle because I did go ahead and take the survivalist uh, in order to get the large backpack and stuff. So we got that now. Go ahead and use that. So that should open up almost the rest of our slots. Yeah, we got a couple left. Not a big deal. Uh, we can get tactical rigging. Now I got some steel moving in here, which is done now. And I was smart enough to use my uh, my goggles too. Got some more darts going. Beautiful. In here we have some AP ammo, and I also made a working player sink, which is nice. We can use that later. In here we have the truck going. So we got 22 minutes before we'll know if that's going to be done or not. Nothing's going on in there. Nothing's going on in here. So yeah, uh, we got it. We were quite busy. I think I got concrete moving in here too. Yep, yeah, that's all done. We can take that over to the horde base. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that here. How much do we have here? Nothing. So we'll leave it here. Just so we, we can work on stuff here if we need to. And I'm probably going to turn this into blocks. Because we got to fill in some of the blocks downstairs. That'll give us 100 blocks to fix some stuff. Alright, let's go murder the locals before we start the day. First thing we're going to do is head over to the Horde base. Wow, look at you all. Alright, well. Deal with you that way. It's usually the fastest way to deal with it. They heard me making stuff last night and they all showed up. They don't last very long, do they? Oh, hazmat fiber. I can't get that off hazmat zombies, but I can sure as hell get it off like somebody like Mo. So that's not bad. Let's go put that upstairs before we go out today. There's still a lot of zombies around. Like, a lot of zombies. No, we didn't pick up the bags. There's someone died here, right? Oh, I forgot to pick up the bags down there. They despawned. But what do you do, right? Okay. What else did I do last night? I did a whole bunch. I really? Really? I just got through doing this once yesterday, and I'm going to do it again today, huh? really got to fix that. Um, but I, I got so much stuff done last night. It's ridiculous. So what do we got here? Hazmat fiber goes in here. What else did we pick up? Oh shit, didn't want to do that. Uh, you. Take you guys with me. Um, and the repair kits. Got to take that. And then... You guys, not you, you guys, you can go in there. We got plenty of medical supplies over at the uh, board base. Oh yeah, it was the gas that I had on me. Don't need a full tank, I'm just going to take a little bit with us. Alright, we're going to come back after we work on the horde base. And see if the car's uh, ready to go. So, I figure we got like 15 or 20 minutes um, of game time before the vehicle's done. 
So we'll spend about 15 or 20 minutes on the horde base. Now, if, we just, if we're just going to get a horde tonight, then I'll spend more time on the horde base. There's no point in getting the truck. We can get that a little later in the day. But, um, because we still got to get it assembled and everything, right? That shouldn't take very long. Ooh, horde uh, bag over here. All right, some more stuff. Probably just scrap those cards. But there shouldn't be a lot of work on this base. I mean, it held up really, really well last horde. The fact that we didn't get any... Uh, oops. The fact that we didn't get any demolishers was a, a really huge bonus for us. I think all my stuff's inside, yeah. Let's get that fixed. And we're going to get these upgraded to steel, I think, this time. Because these work really well. Oh, first before I forget anything. Let's put you there. Grab you. Now, I had you angled. More that way last time. So we're going to put you facing straight out. Hopefully that'll mitigate too many guys getting through here. There's like no damage like here. You know, even those big guys get in, they get, they get in, they get right to here and they go to hit stuff and they get electrocuted and then they just stand here and they get killed. So that's a huge bonus. All right, uh, the stuff that we're not going to need can go in there. You can go in there. Pull out some of that. Some of that. Uh, what else do we need? Repair kits can definitely go in there, because if I don't, I'll forget them. Ammo, dart ammo, coal carbine. We'll get that migrated over today. Bring these down. Okay. Shut this fucking guy up down here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for being a dick. Alright, copy shape. So we lost only the one block, eh, last night? That's actually really good for us. Oh no, sorry. One block here, we lost a few over... ...on the other pillar, the concrete. Yeah, we lost a few of these plates. I don't really consider the plates, um, really like a block. It's like not an, these are non-integral blocks. These are just like, we need to cover shit up so it doesn't get damaged blocks. They just save steel in the long run. Hey, you brought me something. What was it? Oh, ammo. Well, oh, that was pretty nice. Okay, so... Yeah, I kind of feel like the more upgraded this, this base gets, the less inclined the zombies are to really beat on stuff because it just has got so many hit points. Yeah, very little walkway damage this time, but then again... Actually, I'm going to get these double plates upgraded along there. But then again, like I said, um, there wasn't really... Like, there was no demos. So that's, like, a huge win for us. Yeah, like, no, they didn't really do anything here. Still, though, we got the steel. Let's get that upgraded. A little bit of damage to that hatch. That's just so they can't break through there. A little bit of damage here. Yeah, I don't know what was up with those spiders. They were like... It's almost like they were shooting... Um, at us. The fireballs or something, but... Like, it never really materialized into anything. Okay, I'm gonna just leave... The low damage steps. I'm not wasting steel here. Okay, we should be good all the way along here. Now, I wanted to add... Copy rotation, add you. Now, if this works well tonight again, I will upgrade these to stainless. All right, let's get rid of some of this goop here. 
Okay, let's check the box, the blocks on this set of stairs. Which is generally pretty good. I think they were mostly going up the other side. Because they weren't really getting punted off this way this time. So that's all pretty good. Actually, I'm going to go ahead. Might as well. We've got the steel right now. Let's get this done properly. So they pulled the plate off of here. They did a bit of work on this side last night. Not exactly sure why. How much do I have left here? Oh, we're doing pretty good. We got another 28 blocks. I'm going to do that side. And that'll protect it. Now, I got to check the outside over here. A little bit of damage. Nothing significant. I never did. You know, I always forget to check my uh, zombie count at the end of Horde just to see how many zombies I actually did kill. I should have checked that. That light's still good. It wasn't actually doing anything, though. I didn't see any result. Okay. 5346, so probably a couple of hundred. I mean, we killed a few yesterday. At least a couple of hundred. 158 now, game stage. So that could mean that we're going to get... I don't know. I have no idea when the... Uh, when the demons really start showing up. But it's not here that we have to worry about. It's the upstairs. And like I said, way back when I first built this base, if it becomes too much, you just close the shutters and deal with the, the zombies coming to the door. You don't have to deal with them on the walkway. Right? That's like... To do that, just in case they blow up down there. The walkway is not, you don't have to do anything. They do. They're the ones working for it, right? Make them work for it. Alright, we'll just go around. We don't have a lot of steel left. We don't have any steel left. All right, well, we got to make sure we have steel for repairs, though. So it doesn't look like we're getting a horde tonight. Cool. Let's go uh, really quick. Oh, there's a few blocks here that have taken... Oh, I don't have any steel. Did we bring it all from inside? Usually I leave a little bit in there just in case. Because I don't want to use it all. Yeah, we do have a little bit. Uh, let's just leave it. We're okay. Put that stuff in there. You guys can go in there. Actually, let's just take that with us. Okay. Horde base is done. We're good to go. There might be a m couple of minor repairs that we need to do, but I don't care about that right now. Let's get... Um, yeah, let's go back and get the, uh, the vehicle. Oh, hey, a bag. Two mechanical parts. Well, that repairs, replaces some of the, like, what is it, 50 or 60 or 100 I used last night to do stuff with. Alright, we made some food last night. Let's bring that out. Go ahead and put that in here. I'll just use one of them before we go. Yeah, let's have a look at our car. A car. Oops. Wait, what? Oh, man, it's not even done yet? Alright, we burned through stuff really fast. So I need... An engine, um, a battery, let's grab the garbage battery, and four tires. So let's go do that fetch real quick. Come on out here. Breaking shit in my house. Look at this friggin' front yard full of zombies. Alright, it's the same warehouse we did before. So let's just find out where that... Is it? 
Oh, it's this place. All right. This could either be easy or it could be hard. And it's actually not that bad. Because with this particular one, take the plaque sticks, we can just kind of like, it's locked. I think we can just kind of like break in right here. Quickly. You're loaded. Okay, don't see any demons. Those guys are down. That guy's down. Here's all the juiciness. And there's our quest reward. Perfect. We're gonna grab a bunch of the uh, boxes here. As long as we're quiet, the other zombies shouldn't uh, wake up. I think it's like staged so that each area kind of wakes up when you do a certain thing. So as long as I don't go into that back area or make too much noise, should be good here. Now, might as well take this for use at home. Worry about the fuel fuel barrels later. Open these up. That's locked. We'll break into that in a second. Ooh, a rad remover. All right, we're getting some half decent loot now. Oh, there's the uh, thing we needed. Scrap you. Robotic drone armor plating. Yeah, we needed these. All right, let's break into this sucker. All right, so that's 20, 21 hits. Not bad. Let's scrap you. It's actually a pretty good haul. What'd you drop me? All right, let's get back to Bob. Go turn this quest in. I'm not going to bother about that place. That was quick. Greetings. All right, buddy, what's up? Great job. Uh, let's take... What's that worth? 600 and something? 300 and something? Take you and you. Probably hold on to the laser sight. Might be able to use that. But let's ditch the rest of this stuff if you'll take it. I don't need you. I might need the anvil, I don't know. Got lots of you. What else? The weighted head will keep. That we can get rid of. Ah, oh, they're trashing your place, man. I really do apologize. You know what? Hang on one second. They did a number on that door, man. Do I have any forged iron on me? I don't. Does he have any forged iron? Come on, Mo. Question is, did we break? I think we broke everything here. All right. Let's see if he's got forged iron. If not, we're going to have to figure out something for his door here. I see your inventoire. You do. Let's, uh, five should be fine, probably. All right. Thank you, kind sir. Do you have... One sec. Save the door! Fix the door! What did it have left? Not much. Wow, that was five? That was four. How many did I buy? I thought I bought five. Um, really? You have all the resources to fix your door, you're just not going to do I'll it yourself, right? Eh? All right, uh, do you have any jobs? I think of the fetch clear. Northeast. That's ah, the clothing store again. Damn it. Oh, I know I can do it. I'll 
Fuck off with you and your door. I'm in a bit of a quandary. Can you help me? No, I don't want to feel like doing the refinery though, buddy. You as long as I can. Can you help me with my problem? Yeah, I'll probably do that one. I guess it is. It's not gonna do it right now. That helps you a little bit. Look at this pile. Alright, let's go back and get our truck. So we're gonna go home, pick up the truck, take the supercharger out of the bike, and then um, I think we have an orange die upstairs. And then we're gonna bring the truck down. Alright, you uh, interact. Take that. You can stay there. I don't know how long it's going to take to assemble the pickup, but we're going to go down to the new wreck town that we found there a few episodes back. And there's a bookstore down there we're going to go raid. See if we can get another mastery going. Now, um, let's get this going as quickly as possible if we can. Still five minutes? We haven't been gone for like two minutes. Was I misreading that the last time I was here? I probably did. Probably just misread it. And I forgot to sell him that. Um, just going to quickly put stuff away. Oh, the question is, is do I wait the five minutes? Or do we just go get the motorbike and just... I think we should just get on the motorbike and go. Uh, that can get sold. I don't know why I'm keeping the titanium armor. It's weird because I just feel like I should be keeping it for some reason. Every time I see it, it's like, oh, I gotta keep that. Oh, I gotta keep that. Do I really? Not really. Alright, we were making... ...that. So let's grab... ...not from there, but from here. That, that... And that. It's so expensive to make this ammo though, so it's gonna have to be on a second coil rifle. Just to really defeat the, the dangerous shit, you know? Actually, let's put you back in there, because if I don't, I'm gonna forget that I got you. Okay, um, ammo. 7.62. Make sure we're topped up. Shotgun, we're topped up. Take a look at the sun here real quick. Sun's getting real low, big guy. Half the day's gone. Ooh, and that crack of book is a bench clearing brawl too. So I think we just go. If I have to wait here any longer, that's still like kilometers and kilometers away. So uh, I think we got it more than enough gas. And if not, we can always get more. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Go do that crack of book. Um, so, I just found an old west town, thinking I was going where I was supposed to go, but at least we found another old west town if we want to go there. Whoa! Okay, there's a cliff here. That's what I mean about, like, this thing going so fast, you don't even notice the ground changes until it's too late, and then you're in a gully. Okay, library coming up. So this is one of those older POIs that's just stacked with zombies. So we're gonna just do the branch clearing brawl method. I gotta sweep the area first, as usual. We'll park the car here for the vehicle there. 
one thing I will miss about the motorbike once we switch to the uh yeah I'm already suffering some frame issues once we switch to the truck the one thing I will miss about the motorbike will be the uh, agility to be able to just drive anywhere it's something that four four wheel vehicles don't offer you came off the roof you came off the roof you gotta go How are you still alive? My spear just doesn't seem to be doing as much damage as it used to. I mean, it's okay if I get headshots. Oh well! Looks like we got um, the Wandering Horde that was supposed to be due today. All right, well that guy's not a problem. Now it's just all these runners. And I'll get a few of them. Let's see if we can get some of these lazy bastards. Ah, well. This is not what I was intending. Oh, there's another big guy. Get my turret working again. A little bit confused. That'll help. Yeah, you can see how if I was to go with a 64 uh, zombie horde, how it would be a little problematic. Alright. That guy seems pretty angry. Whoa, oh, excuse me. Just coming through. Man, we're going to be out of ammo before we even go into the damn cracker book. Who's spitting? Oh, you are. Cops down. Ooh, got hit. Did the big guy die? Oh. There was an explosion. So I guess the explosion must have got most of them? Is that what happened? Is that what happened? I don't know. That thing... Oh! It destroyed this though. So we don't have the junk turret now for uh... Oh! That was nice! We do not have the junk turret unless we can get a repair kit in one of these. Oh! Combat shotgun finally! Now that I don't really need it. Okay, more shotgun ammo to coil ammo. Uh, coil shotgun ammo. I guess we're clearing this next place with the M4. Actually, let's have a look in here. You never know if we can find a repair kit, maybe. Yeah, nah. Fine. <sighs> well, I guess it could have been worse. Look at all the shit we got, too. Another combat shotgun. Alright, that's it, looks like, for the bags over here. Man, I'm glad I saw those guys. If they'd come up behind me, that would have been bad news. Actually, let's do this first. Scrap all the stuff that we don't need. I'm just going to straight up scrap all the garbage. Just throw that out. Scrap. Scrap. That stuff. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. Mm, don't need that. Uh, 
Oh, looks like there's a spider inside the uh, cracker book. Oh, did they come out of the cracker book? What am I hearing now? Oh, this guy's on the roof. So, they all didn't come out of the cracker book. Well, that appears to be the rest of them. So, I guess some of them broke into the cracker book? I think. I don't know. Trying to finish my kills here. Yeah, I hear you over there. I'm worried about screamers now. Could you imagine that all this combat Screamer shows up and chases us off. That would be like the worst thing. Wow. Garbage drops off those guys though, eh? Alright, we got a bit of shotgun ammo left. That's not bad. Somebody's banging away somewhere back there. Now that most of them are dead. Oh, it's somebody still inside. Oh, more than one. Wait, are they respawning? Or did those guys come out of the back room? Those guys could have come out of the back room. Alright, no fucking around. No, they did not. I don't know then. We better get like close to 300 pages out of this. I don't think we will though. This is one of those ones you get maybe like 150 or something. But we had over 300 to start. And I think we've got the security book already. So if we have a total of 480, we could just get security. You know? Alright, let's just start trimming our inventory down. I don't think we got anywhere near what we wanted. I, I'll, I'll be surprised if we have a total of 480 with what we have at home. Yeah, we've got like a handful here. Although we do have a few in the bike too, but just not enough. Let's go see what we got in the bike here. Three. Um, get rid of that. We're darn close though. All right. We got a few more minutes. I know I could go in the back room there. There's only a handful of boxes so that's the problem and I have no idea what's in there. But we can go down the street and see if there's an easier crack a book here. Because there's, like, there's a few cracker books that are just like... Like the one in our town, right? Where it's like, there's like three people at the front. You kill them, and then you're good to go. That goes into downtown. 
that's industrial and it kind of ends looks like there's residential right there let's go through the downtown core we'll see what's on the other side and if there's nothing over there well I guess we just head out that goes into houses down there what's up here There's a crack of book there, but I'm getting frame drops, so I'm not interested in hanging around for that. That goes into residential. So this is one of the towns with the bigger downtown core as opposed to the bigger commercial area. Alright, well, mm, that's frustrating. How many did we get? 135. Savage Country. There's a couple of magazine racks there. Oh, wait. Oh. My favorite cracker book. Come on, you guys. Bring it out front. I should have uh, broken that car down first, but whatever. Oh, for Christ's sake, guys, seriously, I just want some books. Just, I, you know, what do you guys have against people who read? I always thought he was a little weird, you know, with all those books and reading and things. This is the third guy from inside here. Tex, get up. Got him. He's done. God, this town. I probably won't even need books. I'll have like friggin' five levels after this. Holy crap. But well, we need a gas. Okay, well. Let's get what we came for. I gotta go about this a different way now. Because nightfall's almost here. I could probably loot this place at night. I just need to clear it out before then. Oh, I didn't load up. Nobody there. Okay, free to loot. Oh man, so if we can get 300 out of this place, that means that we're pretty damn close to another mastery book. Well, we'll be halfway there because we don't have, we need 600 after we do this next one. So we need mm, 1,080 pages, which we're not gonna get. Anytime soon out of here.
I should probably be a level 125 by now. I could probably look into the next level of, uh... Yeah, because we might be able to get... Ooh, laser pistols and rifles made. Which also means that most likely demons are going to show up on Horde Night. So we should have something. Whether it's a pistol or a sniper. Or just a rifle or whatever it is. Alright, let's just scrap as much of this as we can. Alright, well that looks like that's it for the uh, crack book. So we did okay. I mean, there's a few. Let me just scrap these things up. Don't really need them anymore. I don't need that. I'm just, I'm just going to start trash and stuff. Now, I've been keeping everything, generally, but... So we got 429 pages. And we had... What, like 300 at home? So we got enough for at least one mastery book, because we have the security one already ready to go. I'm pretty sure I got all this already. One's on the floor. Yep, that looks like that's it. Alright, well, I'm going to drive home tonight. And I'm going to start the, um... I'm going to start the, uh... The books, anyway. The mastery book. I guess we're going to go security. I think we're okay vehicle-wise. I don't think we need to go for a vehicle. Um, only because we've got the, uh... The pickup truck now. And, I mean, it doesn't have a lot, a lot of storage. I think it's got, like, six rows of storage. Like a regular... Uh, 4x4 wood. So it's okay as far as that goes. Um, so I don't think we'll really need to go with anything else other than that. I mean, maybe eventually we go for a charger. But I I mean, I really enjoyed... Um, I think the road's right over here. I really enjoyed... Is it over here? Oh, it's not. It's this way. Um, kind of going through the wasteland... Like, on foot. So I might do that when we go to the final bunker. We'll see. Um, it's kind of, like, not really... Um, recommended, I guess. Because, I mean, the final bunker is the final bunker. We're going to need a lot of stuff to go through that, I think. But... Coming out of there, though, we not we shouldn't need a lot of gear. We should have most of the stuff already anyway. So, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It's more so, I think, for mining we're going to need... Um, I mean, we got, we got the radiation, any rad pills for the scientists anyway. But I want to get power armor. That's like my ultimate goal because I want to make sure that we're not... I think we can make... I'm not sure if we can make a of armor yet. But if we can, we, we'll be taking that to reduce the damage from fire. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. And where does this road fork? Is there another town that I've missed? Oh no, I see. We're just between the two. Alright. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.